In this video, I am going to talk about my favorite theorem in complex analysis. That is the Riemann mapping theorem. First, I would state the Riemann mapping theorem. Suppose, suppose that omega is a simply connected domain domain that is not equal to the complex plane that is not equal to complex plane then there exists a unique Conformal mapping, mapping F from domain omega to the unit disk, such that the following conditions are hold. Okay, so. To define these conditions, I would pick any arbitrary point in this domain omega. Let A in omega. So A be any arbitrary point in this domain omega. So what are the conditions? The first condition is if A is equal to zero. And the second condition is if you evaluate the derivative of the function. At the point A, it is going to be positive, and the third condition is going to be the image of the function f is going to be equal to the unit disk. Okay, so f is surjective. I hope we are familiar with the word conformal. What is meant by the conformal mapping? It's an analytic and one-to-one -one function, okay? So, therefore, this f is going to be a bijection because by the definition of conformal mapping, we know that it's injective and the third condition would give you the surjectivity. So, f is a bijection between omega and the unit disk, okay? This is my notation for the unit disk. So D denotes the unit disk. All right. So this is the idea of the theorem. You have a simply connected domain omega, and you have the unit disk D, and I'm going to pick any arbitrary point in my domain omega, then what this Riemann theorem, Riemann mapping theorem state is, there exists a conformal mapping from omega to unit disk. But this f is not going to be unique if it is not satisfying these three conditions, okay? This f is going to be unique if it satisfies conditions one, two, and three, that means if a equals zero, if dash a positive, and if omega is equal to the unit disk, okay? Right, again, note that there might be many conformal mappings from this domain omega to the unit disk, but this f is going to be unique if it satisfies these three conditions, okay? And we can prove this uniqueness by using the Schwarz lemma. But the proving the existence of the Riemann mapping theorem is the hardest part of this proof. I'm not going to prove that in this video. In my future videos, I'm planning to go through the proof of the Riemann mapping theorem. But uniqueness can be easily proved by the using by using the Schwarz lemma. Okay, so and another thing that you have to note is the Riemann mapping theorem guarantees only the 
existence and uniqueness of the conformal bijection from the domain omega to the unit disk. It does not say anything about how to find a conformal map from a given domain to the unit disk. Okay, so and this Riemann mapping theorem is widely used in many places in complex analysis. For example, in geometric function theory, this Riemann mapping theorem is widely used. For example, when we are defining the conformal radius of a domain, we are defining that in terms of this map by using the Riemann map. So I'm planning to discuss some applications of Riemann mapping theorem in one of my next videos. I hope you understood what I mentioned about the Riemann mapping theorem. So this is one of the strongest theorems in complex analysis that was proved by Bernard Riemann. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording here and if you have any questions, you can mention them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.